People love going to movie theaters. They do it over a billion times a year in the United States. What's good YouTube, today I'm going to be going over AMC stock and why I think it's about to squeeze. But before I do get into that, make sure to go down and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I do talk about AMC stock every single day. So Friday was our second green day in a row. We were up almost 2%. Thursday we were up about 8%. So we're up about 10% in the past two days. And it was National Popcorn Day yesterday. So we weren't up by a lot. We were only up by about 10 cents. But that's still 2%, especially when we're trading at this low of a level. I mean, we are looking at all-time lows. AMC's all-time lows officially $4.01, which would have basically been 40 cents. And now we're basically trading at 45 cents. So I do believe AMC has the potential to go up by a lot this next month, this next week possibly, because it's so undervalued and the buying pressure is insane. And people are starting to feel more bullish, especially with two green days in a row. People are saying it's a pump and dump, but I guess y'all were wrong because it was green two days in a row. I don't know. It still is possible for it to go down. I'm not going to lie. But I think it's more possible for this to go past $5, past $6, past $10, like nothing. I mean, it looks crazy. I mean, just the 10% is this. If it were to go back to what it was trading three months ago, it would look like a crazy, crazy spike. If we zoom out, though, that spike would be really nothing. It really would be nothing because this would be a real freaking spike up to $100. But a spike up to $10 would just be a jump in the air, really. And that's over 100% gain. This is why I love AMC stock. I mean, they have just been pulling back the slingshot for a long time now. So this is something I didn't even know AMC was doing. You could watch UFC fights live now at AMC. More profit. I mean, look at what they're doing. They didn't really do this in the past, did they? No. They're looking at new ways of innovation. Live sporting events i mean freaking everything guys live sporting events concerts in a movie theater freaking their own candy their own popcorn you have to be really high if you think amc is going bankrupt q4 is coming out in about a month now and it's going to be the best quarter i mean we already broke records last quarter q4 is even going to top that record record breaking quarters quarter after quarter and amc is trading its all-time low this is why i'm buying more at this price so yesterday was national popcorn day amc said come celebrate with us get unlimited refills on any size of popcorn so you could have just got a small and just kept refilling that but honestly like i filled up my 2024 bucket and you get another refill but i only filled it up once like that's too much popcorn. You're gonna have a freaking heart attack over here. But it's still a lot of money for AMC. They're selling this bag here of freaking popcorn. It's a popcorn bag for 80 bucks. This is literally for apes. I really don't see anyone else who would buy this but apes. But there's millions of us, so... I mean, that's a lot of money right there. You guys broke it. It's still sold out on National Popcorn Day. So I guess on Amazon, the popcorn was sold out all flavors, which is insane. Popcorn is the most profitable food on the planet, really. We went over it in my last video, but AMC is making so much money off this grocery, popcorn, everything. And it's going to be in Q4. It is going to be in Q4. We're going to see how much exactly we're looking at with the popcorn. And I feel like it's going to surprise everyone. I really do. I really feel like it's going to be a lot of money. Adam Aaron confirms short sellers attacking AMC stock price in 2019. Is it still happening? Adam Aaron stating that AMC stock was being attacked by short sellers in 2019. Five years later and it's happening more than ever as we can all see by the stock price. I'll continue buying and holding as it's just a matter of time. TikTok shills and predatory hedge fund short sellers, your day of reckoning is coming and we're never leaving. I am actually real curious to see what the hell happened here let's freaking go over this joining us now in a first on cbc interview for more is amc ceo adam aaron uh, adam, adam aaron for joining us my pleasure and wealth courtney nice to be with you both so, so talk us through uh, why you feel the market is is trading your stock down uh, despite some uh, record ticket sales numbers and uh, and decent uh, decent uh, earnings yeah actually this was a, a great earnings report for amc uh, that we issued this morning before the market opened uh, we did report an all-time third quarter high for ticket sales and ticket admissions to our theaters, uh, a strong improvement to our business, especially in Europe, our food and beverage sales at an all-time record, our EBITDA, which is really the basic unit of measurement for our company, was up 33% year over year when you adjust out a non-cash accounting change, something mm -hmm. called ASC 842. So we really had great results. And the stock actually went right up after we announced. Uh, we've been the victim of some short selling during the year. There might have been some game playing with our stock today. But as I said, most people who follow the company closely thought this was a very strong record-setting quarter for AMC. 
Well, I, either way, uh, some of those uh, uh, milestones that you mentioned, uh, clearly you still have an EPS loss. And is that a sort of highlight, despite the fact that you have been outpacing some of your rivals, that your broader industry is under serious threat, that you're having record ticket sales, you're doing better than some of your rivals, but you're still reporting an EPS loss and your stock price is still falling quite sharply? Well, we're not actually measured on EPS. Uh, we're measured on EBITDA. Uh, so it's not the most relevant statistic for AMC. Yes, there's a loss, but that has a lot to do uh, with our particular circumstance. We've got a very complicated derivative security in place that gets marked to market every quarter. Uh, we also bought three quarters of our circuit in the last 36 months. So as where, whereas most companies report depreciation based on the cost basis of their assets, we use purchase accounting. So we marked all our assets, or not all, but three quarters of our assets up to market levels in the last three years. So our depreciation expense is large. As I said, uh, net loss, net income, EPS is not the basis of how we're measured. Uh, uh, EBITDA is, and on that measure, uh, we had a record 18. Uh, second quarter with 19 was strong. Uh, today, we're up 33% year over year. These are good numbers. Your other, embedded in your question, though, is the, the notion that somehow we're under siege. That's really a press fiction that comes out of um, people realizing that streaming is another way to watch movies, uh, in addition to what might be called the old-fashioned way, where you go to a theater, except there's one thing. People love going to movie theaters. They do it over a billion times a year in the United States. And as I said, uh, in the quarter that we reported today, we hit an all-time record high uh, for admissions at our theaters. So as opposed to our business being under siege, we're actually booming. We're actually booming, is what he said. We're actually booming. This was in 2019, before the squeeze, obviously. I've had a couple comments saying, oh, well, Mikey, obviously you're not doing your research. You haven't seen what Adam Aaron said recently about the stock price and why he's not talking about it. No, I haven't seen. I haven't seen it. I mean, if I miss something, let me know. I'm only human. I don't freaking look at AMC stock 24 hours a day. But if he says something, y'all let me know, because I haven't seen anything this year. I really haven't. I've I've searched it up. I haven't found anything. If you find something, let me know. This is really how I'm feeling right now. Hey, Shorts, how's this for leaving? <laughs> not leaving. That's us. That is us. We're not leaving no matter what. Most of us, 99.9% .9 of us, if not 100% of us, are down. You're only up if you bought it two days ago at $4. That's it. AMC, that interview, as y'all saw, AMC was trading at around $9. Over the next couple of months, AMC dropped from that point. It was already down like 70% in the past three years, as we saw in that freaking interview. It was at $9. It still went down to $1 before the squeeze. So it still went down around 90% from that level. I feel like that's the level where we're trading at right now, even deeper in the hole though and I feel like the squeeze could be even crazier just because of the dip that is available for us not financial advice but this could be life-changing money I really do think because nothing has changed nothing has changed with AMC if anything the fundamentals have got even bigger he said over a billion theater visits in the United States alone a billion how much is what's that number to be when Drake starts dropping his concert film after Taylor Swift after everything what's that number gonna be it is gonna be crazy so according to CNN this is the AMC stock price forecast the five analysts offering 12 month price forecast for AMC entertainment holdings have a median target of $6 with a high estimate of $12 and a low estimate of $4.10. The medium estimate, which is $6, represents a 35% increase from the last price of $4.43. 35%. Now let's take it to $12. That's almost 200%. And obviously, our freaking most of our average prices aren't at $4.40, but nothing's stopping us from averaging down. The last time I was looking at articles like this was the day before AMC shot up 100% on July 20 fourth i was seeing a price target of two dollars and fifty cents obviously now we're trading at 40 cents so they were right i guess but amc still went up to eight dollars eight dollars and fifty cents right after i read that that same day on july 24th amc shot up over 100 percent, and i sold it i'm not gonna lie but that just goes to show that this is all bs no one knows exactly where the stock is gonna go up down sideways it doesn't matter no one knows so there's always hope there is always hope
you could be negative all you want but i don't see amc going lower than four dollars i don't could happen but it's, i don't see it happening but that's gonna do for this update i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you thought about adam aaron talking about 2019 that's what he was saying in 2019 i hope he comes out with an interview like this in 2024 because i mean what the hell you know we need an interview from adam aaron asap but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go down and subscribe if you are new to the channel because i do update you guys on amc stock and everything going on with it but i'll catch you guys in my next video as y'all know I'm buying the dip. Here we go. Come on. Push it. Buy the dip.